a scientist is seen at the start of the movie, who is making a stitch punk. He also fixes a disc with it while making a stitch punk, and he hangs it. After a time, that stitch punk is fallen down. At first sight, it begins to move and it stands up. Watt observes that his creator scientist is dropped on the floor, and he is dead. Now he begins to move outside, lifting the attached disc with it. Written number 9 is seen on its backside. As this number 9 ragdoll goes outside, then it glimpses another stitch punk, which is exactly like it. It tells that I am number 2 stitch punk. The surroundings have devastated, as someone has attacked there brutally and nothing has left. Number two, Stitch Punk says to number nine, rag doll that thankfulness, that you have your disc. Number two also talks about different things, but number nine does not utter a single word. Then number two says, oh, that voice box has not been fixed in you. It fixes that voice box in its body and it begins to speak. At the same time, Another robot appears there and begins to shout at them. It is Cat Beast. Number nine was very coward. It loses its consciousness, witnessing it. Then that Cat Beast moves away, lifting number two Stitch Punk with its device. After some times when number nine wakes up, it is at such a place where a number five Stitch Punk is mending it. It used to repair all these Stitch Punks then number one Stitch Punk comes there which is head of them. It says to the number five rag doll that who had asked to go outside. Do you not know how many robots are outside and our life is at risk? But number five says, we will have to save the life of number two, which had been taken away by Cat Beast. Number one says, okay, let's see. It accompanies number nine, which had been restored perfectly. The head says while showing the outer world to number nine, many years ago when we had stepped on this planet for the first time. Then a war had been held between robots and the human beings. They battle with one another too much. Both wanted to eliminate each other. Due to this, the atmosphere of this place turned poisonous. No one survived here. Everything had finished. You can also witness yourself. But only one robot survived, and it is Cat Robot. That only one has the heavy hand on us, so we all Stitch Punk stay here covertly. Because there is no one in this world except that Cat Robot or Stitch Punks. Then it brings it into a place where some numbers had been written on the paper stuck on the wall, and some numbers had been marked with a cross sign. It indicated that cross sign number Stitch Punks had been dyed or they had been taken away by the cat robot. With it, the head also marks a cross sign on the number two. Number nine asks it, what are you doing? Do you know that cat robot had hunted it? It is alive. You all have accepted your defeat. We will have to rescue it. We cannot think of him dead as such. After this, number nine and five plans that, that they will go to the location of the car robot and they will check the condition of number two, Stitch Punk. They do the same, and they find number two imprisoned in a cage. It means that it is still alive. They unlock its cage, going there. But a cat robot approaches there at the same time. Fortunately, there comes a female rag doll, which decapitates that cat robot. Then all are very excited. Then number nine notices a disc there, and there is machine before it and there is made such a place there where that disc could be adjusted. It means their shapes are matching with each other. Being curious, number nine fixes that disc in that machine. All other stitch punks were going to forbid it, but it was too late. Machine starts and it sucks, the soul of number two. It is tragic moment because number nine has no knowledge about it. Now number nine, five and that female stitch punk begin to leave that place, but Machine is still wanting to attack them. It chases them. That machine had created its own duplicate, which can also fly. They three reach a library while running, where they find twin stitch punks. They show them a video which was clearly declaring that the machine had been manufactured for their advantage by them, so that they may use it during the war. 
or they may use it for no cause. But machines started to think, and they thought as they have their own seat in this world. They started the war with the human beings. And the matters begin to spoil here. When human beings and the machines begin to fight each other. And everything came to its end with the passage of time. Now number nine Stitch Punk draws something there. Then all are astonished that such a drawing had also been sketched by our partner. There is surely a secret behind this drawing. But there, that partner was in the church with the head where they were living. All are scared. No, we cannot move there now. The leader will get furious on us. That why did we leave the shelter? Because it was the rule of that place that they all stitch punks used to reside in that sacred place, hiding themselves. The Lerada used to forbid them to go outside. But number nine explains to them, nothing happens. It will scold us for a moment, but we can get the knowledge about that drawing. They all move to that refuge. Leader becomes aggressive on them and he had to act as such, but no one speaks any word before it. Then their partner stitch punk comes and it starts to display them that drawing. And it is telling about that talisman. Then machine approaches there. The same duplicate machine which could fly. And it begins to attack them. They all end it coordinately. But their church also catches the fire. All are very saddened. Now there was not a single moment to think. And they had to go somewhere to rescue themselves. So they moved to that library of twin stitch punks, reaching there that stitch punk starts to talk about that drawing. Then that leader says to it, after keeping it quiet, you speak uselessly. What is your issue if we are residing here? Do you want to lose your lives? Why do you not stop thinking about the disc? Have you remembered? Number two, stitch punk used to talk like you, what he faced when he stepped outside. Number nine feels something wrong here, and it asks the leader, had you sent number two outside deliberately? So number two faces some bad happening and these stitch punks may get a lesson. The leader confesses it and says, yeah, I had to do it in order to rescue my other stitch punks. Hearing it, that female stitch punk becomes very aggressive and it places its weapon on the neck of that leader. Number nine says to it, leave it. It is not going to understand us, so we will also not carry out its orders, and we will surely go there. On the other side, Machine is seen that Machine has hypnotized number two after sucking its soul. It also hypnotizes one more stitch punk, and it stitches its body. It also allures the leader hypnotically along with it, and it is going to suck it, then other stitch punks also appear there. And they release the leader. But the machine sucks female rag doll and that stitch punk which had stitched it. Now they begin to think, how should they rescue their partners? They catch the sight of an oil tank as they go far at a little distance. They think as they will explode it, so the machine may be spoiled in it. But number nine says, no, our companions are in its possession. I will have to save them. At first, I will go to rescue them. If I remained unable to return after a time, then you may explode this place. Don't care about my life. Now number nine enters. The machine is there. It has also sucked that stitch punk which had been stitched by it. And now it was the turn of female. Stitch punk, but number nine releases it. Now number nine and that stitch punk start to come out together. So time has passed so its other companion explode there as number nine had instructed. Consequently, they also wounded themselves. Fortunately, they come outside on time. All are feeling pleasure, here thinking they have destroyed the machine. But there were also other creatures along with that machine, which used to run it. Only those creatures had ended till now, and machine knew everything what it has to do further, and it was still stable. Machine appears before number five, Stitch Punk, and it starts to suck its soul. While others escape from there in order to save their lives. But Machine also appears there on that bridge which they are crossing. But that bridge begins to damage due to its weight. And the Machine begins to fall down. Machine is also sucking the soul of that stitch punk which used to draw the sketches. And it is also going to fall with the Machine. And 
It says to its companions, go away all of you. It is enough for us that this machine is being damaged. You will be able to live safe in future. Then that machine falls down, but it becomes still there. Meanwhile, that machine has sucked the soul of that stitch punk, so other stitch punks don't explode that machine. Whereas they could do, because they had rescued the soul of their partner. Now number nine goes to the same place where it had been created and also the other stitch punks. It opens a box from where a holographic recorded message is received, in which that scientist tells this stitch punk that I divided my soul into the nine parts, which I put into the nine stitch punk so you all may accomplish my undone work. All human beings were died because the war held between human sand machines. And I could also be killed one day. Now you will have to fight for me now. This is the cause we had seen that, that scientists had departed to heaven after creating number nine stitch punk. Scientist also tells number nine that the disc that you possess, you all can rescue your lives while using it. And that talisman was still fixed in that machine. Number nine also tells its rest of the companions and says, we should not still destroy the machine. Otherwise, the talisman will also be ruined and we will not be able to remain alive. No one trusts him. So number nine itself goes in front of the machine. The machine also starts to suck its soul, but leader comes before it to rescue it. Machine begins to suck it. Number nine immediately takes the disc out of the machine and it starts to run it. Doing so, all souls begin to appear from that machine. That had been sucked from these stitch punks by that machine. All souls moved to heaven. Getting together, all were very satisfied. After this, there is a great explosion. It begins to rain there, and it is seen here that every drop of rain has life in form of green ray, that the soul will create where the raindrop falls. All souls will come back to this planet. Hovi completes on this scene here. Thanks for watching.